Hey, what's up everyone? I know that with all the things happening in this world, we don't need extra stress, but I did want to just share the things that are taking place in the world around us. I wanted to share this when it happened, but I wasn't in a mode for making videos at that time, so I never got around to it until now. So this powerful eruption in Manum, at the Manum Volcano in P PNG sends ash plumes 45,000 feet. Ashfall is blocking the sunlight in the area, and the volcanic eruptions continue. And record-breaking occurrence, a record-breaking occurrence at Yellowstone, the steamboat geyser erupts 30 times this year, 2018. And the year's not over yet, so we'll see. Yellowstone National Park this year beat the 1964 previous record. Some images of, of Yellowstone there. There's a nice rainbow at Yellowstone. So that's record eruptions. A huge meteor actually disintegrated over this area in Mexico, shown right here. I've captured, let's see, I captured something uh, a couple of nights ago, and I recorded it with my Samsung camcorder. Even though the middle of the, the display screen is out, it still records, so I've been using that. And I recorded what was in the sky, and they stated that it's sort of this comet thing that's headed toward the Earth. So I seen that on the 10th and I had to share it. Actually, it was like the morning of the 10th, but it was the night of... Yeah, it was the morning of the 10th. Monster Winter Storm Diego dumped a lot of snow and ice across the southeast. Lots of ice. 400,000 people are without electricity. And it was definitely hard to deal with for those traveling. And a brain-eating amoeba killed a woman who filled her pot with the tap water. There you can see it there, you can see it under a microscope. In Paradise, California, the flyover, a fire flyover took the, took place the day after the fight. The flight restriction was lifted, and you just see total destruction, but several things are pointed out on YouTube, and the information needs to be gotten out there regarding this fire. <clears throat> Many people are discussing direct energy weapons. And if enemy countries, I mean, if we have that, enemy countries can have it as well. And the thing is, it's awful what we're doing to our own people. You can see the light pole right there, the electricity, still going to it, it's still working. Um, maybe it's solar powered, I don't know. But you can see it still says, turn left. That's still intact. The buildings you can see in many places... People were posting by drone, the businesses, the homes burned, and trees around them remained. And fires don't take a straight line. People were posting online about a straight line fire in a football field. That's direct energy weapons. And in a lot of homes, they reported the smart meters and their homes basically spontaneously combusted. And this is... This is Direct energy weapons and spontaneous combustion in action, but I'll let you I'll let you decide. You can think about it for yourself. NASA released the first ever audio recording, supposedly from Mars, so you can give your thoughts on that. Whether or not you think it's true. Did vandals destroy the rocks, these ancient rock formations, hoodoos and, and arches in Utah? Or is it a bizarre hoax? I don't know. But there is that fireball video that I talked about in my previous video, the Pakistani news anchor. Someone might have been throwing, you can hear a, a, a shot, a gunshot, a gunshot or something going off in the background. So he might have been hit by uh, some sort of a flare or some sort of gun or something like that from maybe protesters or radicals or something. And a strange mountain of God shows signs of eruption threatening nearby villages in Tanzania. So this mountain is erupting. This volcano is erupting. We have a lot of volcanic eruptions and a lot of earthquakes happening worldwide right now. But I don't want to bring you many, many more stress than I have to. Uh, I just report the news and I'm just reporting things that you don't see on the news. And I just wanted to share with you all what's going on in the world around us. And Lord willing, things will get better for us, the awakened ones. So hopefully more people will awaken. Anyway, I just wanted to share the news and share what's going on. Um, at least my darkness and depression has eased for right now. 
the moodiness, the darkness, the depression, and all of that. It's it's difficult. I still have the sharp pains and things. Whenever I can, I'm going to try that Kratom on eBay. I'll have to. I've already signed up to eBay, but I'll I'll uh, get a gift card from. I don't use debit online. I don't trust using debit cards online, and on debit and credit and all that. I don't want to use our personal debit card, <clears throat> but our information, the way things are now, and all this, all of this hacking, and all of this data hacking, data hacking, whichever you want to pronounce it as, things can be stolen, information can be stolen so easily, and uh, that's why I just, we just don't, and my mama never felt comfortable doing that, so we just don't do it. But anyway, yeah, I will uh, hopefully sign up, not sign up, but I'll hopefully, maybe I'll go to Krogue and get a gift card for eBay. I think Kroger has them. And I'll get a gift card and put one in there. And uh, whenever we can afford it. Right now we we uh, don't have anything <laughs> to uh, spend. We have no we have nothing right now to spend. So I just wanted to state though that I will probably order that kratom or kratom that it might help might help us both with our pains and things. So yeah. Anyway, I will uh, let you know if I do that very soon and thank you all for watching this has been an update of some of the things taking place in the world around us peace and much love sorry if i went on too long again just rambling and talking i enjoy talking to you all and to all to all of you who stated that you enjoy hearing me talk that is so kind of you much love and peace bye